Roblox can label things as deprecated. This is for more beginner programmers, and I'm letting you guys know not to use deprecated functions and instances. Like the actual definition of deprecated, in Roblox when something is deprecated, this means that Roblox is telling us not to use it. Maybe because that thing is old, and they have made another thing that you guys can use, and if it's deprecated, then it probably means it is no longer supported by Roblox. For example, you should use uh, task.wait over weights, and instead of math.random, you should use uh, random.new. I'm not saying math.random is deprecated, but you know, you should probably be using random.new instead. So I'm going to open up a script, and I'm going to type in a deprecated function uh, like print identity. You can see here that there's a line crossed through it signifying that it is deprecated. But if we actually type it out and put it in our code, you will see there is a uh, orange uh, warning bar under it telling us that it is uh, deprecated. See, global print identity is deprecated. And again, this doesn't just have to be coding related. Roblox can deprecate old uh, instances too, like body movers. Body movers like body force, body position, body velocity, body gyro, and all those other ones are deprecated. And instead, Roblox wants us to move into constraints for stuff like velocity and all that stuff for physics related stuff. Uh, and those include like linear velocity, angular velocity, aligned position orientation, vector force, and there's a few more, but you know, you get my point. But whether you guys like the old uh, deprecated ones better, it's probably better to use the newest ones because, again, Roblox isn't going to be supporting those old ones. And probably it's the newer ones are better in terms of performance and maybe even easier to use in some cases. So let's compare the two functions, weights and task.wait. I would say task.wait is better here because it has more to do with this task scheduler. It's newer. Um, that's just my opinion though. I think that's the, the actual truth though. And if you're using weight and all the other old uh, global um, functions like uh, delay and spawn and all that, I recommend you change that to the task uh, ones. Because, you know, it's newer, and Roblox even says that it's probably better, uh, well, it is better because the results are, uh, the weights and all the other ones are less optimized, the results are less optimized, and not as configurable as these. Not 100% uh, know what that means, but that's from Roblox themselves. And even Roblox has a table for us to show the legacy globals and the new task methods that we should be using instead of the old deprecated ones and you guys can see that there change uh, all of this in your code uh, if you're using the old ones if you haven't already and you don't know about this so let's actually compare these all right so we're going to spawn some parts at the middle of our world and we're going to see which one gets to the top the fastest you know stick with me here uh, it'll make sense in just a little bit so we're going to start off by saying task.spawn function. So we're going to run a new thread right away. And this part, the parts I'm about to make will be for the deprecated weight. All right, can this code assistant, this happens every video. Can it just like get off my screen? Okay. Oh man, I guess quite annoying. But we're going to make a for loop that runs 25 times like I'm doing here. And we're going to make a part. So instance.new part. And we're going to say part dot position will be equal at the center of our world. So vector three dot new zero I times one point five comma zero. So this will make it that every part that we create, it'll be a uh, taller or higher up than our last one. Parts dot anchored will go to true parts dot can collide false and then parts dot color color 3 dot from rgb 255 uh zero and zero this will make it that red color all right and then we are going to say part dot shape i'm going to uh set this to enum dot part type dot ball just to make it maybe just look a little bit better than just regular blocks and then part parents will be go to the game dots workspace and maybe we can even uh make this a little bit better by inserting a folder in our workspace 
and calling this red. So we can put all of our red parts in the red folder, uh, just like that. And finally, we're going to say wait, because when this all runs at once, it really lags up your game. And this is how we can uh, see which one is faster. So this is our deprecated wait uh, test. And basically, you can do the same thing as copy this. We really don't need the task.spawn, but you know, it's fine. We're going to keep it there. And we're going to change this to a green color. Uh, this represents our task.wait. So we're going to make another folder, call it green. And our folder will go into the green folder. And then finally, uh, since this is our task.wait test, this is going to be task.wait. And if we look to the center of our world and click run, watch how fast the green parts go up compared to the red parts. So click run, we see the green parts go up and then the red ones. Mind you, the green ones are task.wait and the red ones are just regular wait. See the time difference. Green is faster than red, meaning that the base of this task.wait is faster. As you can see there can even change these so that we can see more parts. Let's say we spawned 100 parts for each one so that we can actually see it better and for longer. I'm going to back up a little bit, click run, and watch the green parts compared to the red ones. When it gets to 100 parts, you can really see the time difference there. Uh, you can see like when it gets about here, that's a pretty big time difference. Okay, so I have another uh, example for you guys. I'm going to insert two parts into my game. Uh, and this one we're going to call task because this will represent our task.wait. Make sure it's anchored, everything like that. And we're going to duplicate it, put it next to each other. I'm going to call this OG. This is going to represent the OG wait, the deprecated wait. We're going to make that red once again. We're going to head back into our script and we're going to get some variables. So we're going to get task is equal to game.workspace.task. And then local OG is equal to game.workspace.og. We're then going to make a new th uh, thread here right now. Function task.spawn. And we're going to say while true do. We're going to say task.position. We'll be able to task.position plus vector3.new. 0, 0, 0.1, 0. And then we're going to duplicate the while loop put it down here and this uh, is going to be our OG oh excuse me before we even get down there we actually have to include our task dot weights here and then we're going to put our OG in for our task here and then we are going to wait regular wait and so basically if you don't know what's going on here we have to include this task dot spawn to make sure that both are running because if you don't know a while to do loop it's literally infinite so this means that this code will uh keep running forever so which means uh this code will never run because this keeps running so task.spawn allows us to run both at the same time and basically what we are doing here is we are going to keep adding on to the y-axis of our uh, both parts positions so that they keep going up and so basically, we're going to see which one goes up faster, so then we can then see uh, which one is faster. So we are here. We're going to click Run. And would you look at that? Task.wait is winning by a pretty good amount. Now, in my opinion, the green one is like kind of moving a little bit smoother than Task.wait, as you can see there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we can definitely see the clear winner. And yeah, guys, this was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.